Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Ottomans World Conquest attempt for European Universalis IV. France is uh, very resistant to my attempts to advance on them. We're no longer at war with Austria though, so we can pull forward these troops and uh, this thing can come forward as well. It's a bloody mess, but uh, we're doing alright. Sixteen regiments rise up in Crimea because we're trying to convert it. Hopefully this army can can hold because we're, we're about to finish. God darn it. Yep, we finished converting them. Great. I don't think I had added that land yet. Nope. And this land, still waiting to convert. Damn it. How annoying. I just get too eager to carpet siege, and it doesn't work out for me. I, I love having forced march. It makes it so much easier to get to that point where you can carpet siege that um, I make fewer mistakes that way. Okay, uh, yeah, just keep that army together for now. 69% war score, now 74%. Just taken Metz, and we've taken Hena. Okay, we can... Negotiate peace with Hainat. We won't. We don't want that. We want to force your religion, and we want you to transfer trade power. Sure. Let your trees with everyone. Sure. Okay, go away, Hainat. For more imperial authority, 76%. Now we need Lorraine. Ilias here. Got one more province to siege in Lorraine. Lorraine wants to concede defeat. No. That's not, a, that's not exactly what we had in mind, sir. Rebellion in Limburg, don't care. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to get this reform in the next 10-15 minutes. Take this thing, uh, we're still 17 years ahead of my goal. Okay, excellent. Lorraine, we want you to convert. Give us some money, and... Um, sure, I know your treaty with Brabant. Why not? Eight more. What's this at 86? 30 princes in favor. So now all that's left is France. And so, we pretty much... We could continue to siege him. Try to get 100% worth of released nations. It's an excellent cast of spell eye to make them release nations. I think that's what we go for. Just to split them up. 99 war score worth. Okay, let's uh, let's move in and just start carpet sieging. It'll take another six months to a year, but I think it's going to be worth it. These little bite-sized vassals are going to be perfect for us to annex later. Annex and release, I mean. The smaller the vassals that we get to eat, the more frequently we get to, like, dishevel them from us. Okay, so whoever doesn't like us is who we need to improve relations with desperately. Which is a surprisingly large number of people. Frankfurt. Get them all working. We'll get a little tiny bit more imperial uh, unity, re re religious, whatever it's called, imperial authority, I think, from taking back. That's part of it. Maybe we should, instead of doing all that, 
just vassals. We should also take like Cambrai. But we don't have a core on it. Or sorry, like Cuneo, right? Cuneo and Cambrai. It's owned by Savoy and Milan. We could return it to, to Milan. And we only need 14 more Imperial Authority. Only. Okay, let's get that diplomat back and we'll talk to France a bit. Nine hundred ninety three days, wow. Over ninety four percent, ninety eight percent. One more siege, I think we'll do it. I do want to be right up to ninety nine. It's not worth sieging everything to get to 100, I think. 99 will be plenty. One of these things has got to fall soon. There's so many of them ticking. That... There we go. 99%. Okay. So, let's see. If I were to... to do this, then... It doesn't say that we would gain anything. It's, I think it's just an, an available Casus Belli. Releasing nations. Cancel vassals. Yeah, I just... This is good. Let's just be done. Goodbye, France. It was nice knowing you. I mean, they still exist, but they've got big chunks of land missing now. Okay, you guys go to here. You guys go to here. You guys can go down to here. We have a no leader army. How'd that happen? Okay. And we could pass it. We have support, but there's 17 who are not in favor. So if we click this button right now, all members of the Holy Roman Empire will become our direct vassals or leave the empire. <laughs> giving us a claim. So we don't want to do that. We want to get to 100. I think we um, we find one more person that we can enforce religious demands on. And then if we have to wait five years to make everyone happy again, we will. But you know, I'm thinking like Bohemia is too big for sure. The bigger they are, <clears throat> excuse me, the more Imperial Authority will get. Lundberg would not accept. Brandenburg would probably be a perfect one. So I think what we do is... Um, Send them some money and stuff. At least we don't lose imperial authority when these countries switch to Protestant. Normally you do, but because we're Orthodox, the Protestant Reformation is not actually making it as difficult as it would normally be. Look at that, we're down to 1,600 manpower. We could we could still technically have the uh, the Peasants War. <laughs> that would be funny. Alright, um, we have no more lands that we can add to the HRE because we cored everything. Well, there's one more, but it's got to finish being converted. It's just going to take a while. What else can we do? Um, hmm. <clears throat> we have plenty of money we could give away. Let's give some money to Brandenburg.
Make them happy, and then maybe we do a royal marriage. Easiest way to get these other people to support it is going to be getting the Imperial Authority up. Although, like, Austria, negative 71, I don't think that there's anything we can do to make them support it. Unless we improve relations with them tremendously. So, yeah, we need to, um... Let's bring back all of our diplomats and focus on the people that are negative the most. That are really, really unhappy with us. We've got to send money to a bunch of people. Like, even if, if, if we just improved relations with Austria, we could get them high enough, I think. We'll gain 14 more with Austria from extra Imperial Authority. And then we can get 44 back, which almost takes them to a hunt, to, to positive. So just barely go positive on relations with Austria and we'll be fine. And they're already willing to accept a royal marriage, which is funny. This is the point where I think we just go way over our relationship limit. Because it doesn't matter. Independence for Bosnia. These guys are, are close to enforcing their demands? Really? So can we siege that in 10 months? Hmm. I would assume so. You know, the Rebels minigame in this, I just, I really hate. I don't think it's engaging or entertaining at all. It's just tedious. More missionary strength now I think is appropriate. Tech costs, yeah we don't want that one. I don't want the better relations over time reduction. We need it for aggressive expansion. Besides, our conversion speed's 2.4% uh, now. It's not bad. Okay, all of our diplomats are home. Let's find the people who hate us the most. So, anyone that's, like, really negative. Like, say, more than 50. Urbino. Yeah, we need to... Uh, well, they're already a vassal, but... Okay, still have one diplomat free, so we can do something if we need to. Already won that siege, not bad. Okay, yeah, now we have more time. Apparently the, the guys over in Rome are Bosnian peasants, somehow. Okay, so some of these same people, then, I'll um, send money to. Holstein, just send some money to them. Our income's fantastic. Still have 15 years to meet my goal. Akin gets the next gift. Everyone gets money. Although, I really shouldn't do it unless they are not willing to vote for us. I should check that too, not just their opinion. Although, it's, it's a pretty good bet that if they have negative opinion that they're not supporting us. Yeah. A uh, little bribe here, we'll get them on board.
They're at negative 23. So they're going to need more opinion too. Like with enough, um, where'd they go? With enough Imperial authority, I think we'll get them close, but we'll still need another 10, 10 more. Then Brandenburg. Didn't we already send them a gift? Hey, oh gosh, that's so nice. Nice, diplomatic reputation. That's a really good thing. Diplomatic reputation of Emperor plus 17.5. We're now at 35 princes. Austria, did we already send you money? We did. Alright, so with you, I think we do a royal marriage. Become buddies. I want an alliance with you as soon as I can get you positive. I need to improve relations with Austria. Let's bring back all of our diplomats again, reappoint them. Just reanalyze where we're at. Cologne, you need money too. Lorraine needs money. Negative 70 and they're a vassal. Oh, they're really pissed off that I annexed vassals. Yeah. Oops. Happens. Only 12 that are not supporting it now. Okay, well, there's still a lot of work to do here to get this last reform passed, but we're almost there. Got a free diplomat yet again. Let's, uh, let's get one working on Austria, because I know that they're going to be an issue. We will um, just start improving relations right away. Okay, tons of free diplomats. Alternate will need to improve relations with as well. Pomerania. Money is just the easiest thing here. And we have no use for the money later. Part of the reason that I'm making, making sure like everyone supports it is that if I do one more enforce religious unity, then I think that some of them might drop back down and I don't want to have to do it twice if possible. I think we already gifted the Papal State. No, we didn't. <laughs> no. Okay, so that's most of them. Holstein, we already gifted. Alright, so we're up to 40. There are only 8 that are not willing to join. So we got Holstein, Bohemia, Austria, Hess, Cologne, Mainz, the Palatinate, and the Papal States. So a bunch of them are my vassals. They're, just, they're already my vassals. I guess we don't have to worry about them, actually. So Mainz, the Palatinate, and Cologne, and... Uh, and all that's fine, but Austria, Hess, Bohemia, Holstein. So we bestow Imperial Grace on you. And then we pro proclaim a guarantee. I think we can do it soon. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.